Thank you, Lord. The only thing that's been stopping us is we ever be able to get in the same agreement as heaven. That's right. Amen. But any time that the earth gets in agreement with heaven, there's a collision. And heaven invades it. It's what revival really is. That's right. What happens in revivals is a group of people finally get in one accord with heaven. And heaven comes. <coughs> I felt a little of that the night when I was worshiping. Oh, yes, yes. Get lost. Hallelujah. Yes, somebody else can preach. I was laying the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Drinking from my saucer. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Can't Thank do a lot you, of that, so I won't be able to function. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we was worshiping, I just hear the holy, holy, holy. Holy. And hear the echo of heaven. Start to come. And, I, and I'm telling you, the heart of God right now, it's, He's longing for His people to come in one accord with Him. Hallelujah. And when we do that, meetings will be different. Jesus. When we start to come in one accord yes. with Him in our services, yes. things are going to change. And uh, instead of us just going through a routine, Yes. Things will start to happen. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Happening here, and some of you don't even know. Yes. Amen. Uh, amen. Oh, amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, hallelujah. Uh, Glory. Church Sunday, so some of you are going to leave and don't even know what happened when you leave. This is what's going to happen tonight too. Yes, it and is. People's going to leave, and then later they'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Because so many of the times hallelujah, hallelujah. in meetings, God does stuff so quick. I call him Jehovah Sneaky. <laughs> He'll sneak right up on you. Yes, he will. So rub on me and worship me. It's just really messed up right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> so, but what I'm trying to tell you is God, God's waiting for his church to get it's lost in him. Thank you, Jesus. We're, we're way too much in the natural. Yes, we are. True. The church stays way too much in the natural. Amen. And we never call to be natural. We always call to be supernatural. Supernatural. That's right. Amen. And the reason we can't see supernatural is because we won't come in one accord with heaven. That's right. Amen. But God, God's waiting on this church. Yes, we're not Lord. waiting on oh, him. I know a lot Jesus. of you came in tonight probably thinking you're waiting on God, but I got a word for you. No. We're not waiting on him. He's waiting on us. That's right. He's just waiting for you to come in one accord with his mindset and his thoughts. And when you do that, things are going to change instantly. Quickly. Fast. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Don't worry about me. Just keep your mind on me. Thank Jesus. He's here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We are so focused in routine. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, yes. hallelujah. It's because we've been cookie cutter into doing certain things at certain times. Yes, that's true. But can I tell you something? God messes up a genius. Yes, he does. He yes. messes up a genius. He really does. Yes, he does. He messes up the way you think it's going to come. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 If you could figure out God, then you would you wouldn't be God. That's right, Amen. Some of us think we figured him out, but we really haven't. No, no, no. We no. just think we have. It's quite good to have everybody online tonight. We welcome you to this meeting. It's believe God's gonna do stuff even through Facebook Live tonight. Yes, he is. And in this house, people are gonna get touched and move and touch and go yes. to different levels. Let's go to the word. Trying to get myself back to right. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Good. Yes, it is. I'm trying to get back too far, but I don't want to get all the way back. No. I'm kind of liking where I'm at, actually. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I think I have a word for you tonight. Most of the time in the church, you ask people stuff, and they always got the right answer. But just because you have the right answer don't really mean that you believe it. <laughs> That's right. That's the truth. Because you can have the right answer and nothing being happening in your life. Amen. 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 You're right. But when you move past having the right answer into a place of belief and, and knowing 
then things start to manifest. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm not worried about having the right answer. I'm worried about manifestation. Yes. Amen. Because the Lord spoke to me today and he said, without signs, wonders, and manifestation of me, then all we really have is a religion that never has any presence to even make people repent. Yeah. That's right. I don't want to be in meetings where there's no conviction. No. no. I don't want to be in meetings where it feels like God's nowhere around. Amen. I mean, Amen. I want to be where I feel like His presence is yes. so strong that yes. it makes you want to yes. crawl underneath church. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. We've Thank gotten you. such a form. Yes, we have. Ephesians chapter 5. Let me read you something. Ephesians chapter 5, do you want to go with me? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore I do not, therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Amen. So many people in the church is not as wise as they think they are. Amen. So many people even know the scriptures are still not as wise as they think they are. Amen, that's right. He, he tells us in Ephesians chapter 5, don't be unwise, unlearned. Lord Jesus. Most of the time, if I come up to people and I say, do you have faith? Oh, yeah, I have faith. I said, well, then why don't you have what you want? Amen. You want to mess with you. Amen. That's good. See, because when people come up to me and tell me they have faith and they're still in want, it makes me understand one thing. They really haven't realized what faith is. Amen. It's true. It's, it's impossible to be in faith and not be activating faith. It's true. Amen. That's true. Thank you. I mean, unwise. Hosea 4, 6, go with me. I want to set a little base before I preach to the other. Hosea. So where's that at? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nobody knows what Hosea is. Where's Hosea? <laughs> yeah. Hosea 4, 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Amen. Everybody quotes that part. They never go no further. Yeah. You ever notice that? Mm -hmm. My people because you have are destroyed rejected. for a lack of knowledge. So let's go a little further. Yeah. Because you have rejected knowledge. Yep. Let's go a little more. Because he don't stop there. She said, me, we can read that part of this song. Mm -hmm. Because you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will for okay. have forgotten you. Well, back up, it says, and also will reject you from being a priest for me. That's right. You know you're called to be a royal priesthood? Yeah, amen. Yeah. But you know if you reject knowledge, you won't even be able to be a priest. That's right. That's good. <clears throat> It's hard to get people to read the Bible, but it's, it's even harder to get people to study. Yeah. Because we're so busy. Yeah. We're so busy. Our life is so busy that we don't want to take an hour to study. We don't want to take an hour to read the Word. We don't want to take an hour to meditate for sure. Because He never told us just to read the Word, He told us to meditate. Amen. There's a big difference. That's true. There's a big difference between taking all the time. Well, I read the Bible in one year. I said, That's great. What did you get out of it? Amen. Amen. See, I didn't, I didn't see somebody read one scripture and get it. Yeah. Just read the whole Bible and not get it. That's yeah. true. That's good. 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 Because there's lots of people who can quote scriptures, but they can't live it. Yeah. Because they remember, listen to me, a good memory doesn't mean faith. No. Amen. No, it does not. Head knowledge doesn't equal spirit. No, it doesn't. Amen. There's lots of people who has head knowledge to learn and speak stuff great. But just because they speak stuff doesn't mean they're falling in the spirit. That's right. That is true. So you can't even be my priest. That's what that last said. part really messes with me. He says, 
But I'll also forget about your children. That's what he said. Uh, yeah. 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 That, 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 that doesn't surprise me because I meet kids all the time and say, well, mom and dad told me that. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> if mom and dad don't get the knowledge, most usually the kid don't. Right. That's true. Amen. That's true. And if mom and dad don't get to the place that they understand who God is, then most of the time it's hard to get the kids to the place to know who true. God is. True. And even if you do get the kids to know who God is, most of the time mom and dad try to pull them back out of it. Yeah. That's true, yeah. too. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I know this is different, but this is what the Lord wanted tonight. It's true. Without knowledge, we're not going anywhere tonight. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. I preach to people who don't have knowledge all the time. You know how I know they don't have knowledge? They won't receive what God is. Yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> and I want to show you what he is for the night's over, hopefully. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 6. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 6. I know you know what that's at. Hebrews chapter 6. I mean, I'm sorry, Hebrews chapter 11. I'm sorry. Wrong place. We'll get to in a minute. Verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Let's do that. I think that's a better place. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. We quote this one too. Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. It's talking about all time. We hear it all the time in church. Yeah. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. That's right. But watch this. Must believe. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. Uh -huh. And that he is. Can I tell you something? It's impossible to even have faith until you know who God is. That's true. Because you can't believe for something if you don't know it's possible. Yeah. That's right. And you can't know something's possible until you know what he can do in the impossible. Amen. Right. Amen. And so many people tell me all the time they have faith, but they can't believe for a miracle. So many people tell me all the time, I believe that there's a God. I believe I have faith in God. But they still don't know who God is. That's true. That is the truth. How do I know that? Because you can look at a person's life and know whether they really have the faith to believe for something. Because if they're always in a lack, if they're always coming up short, and there's always something stopping them, it's because they haven't never really recognized who he is. Amen. Oh, Amen. my, my, That's my, my, my. You can read the Bible over and over. You can say you have faith. You can read about it. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. But it don't stop there. He says, for he who comes to God must believe that he is. That he is what? The reward. Yeah. Oh, we know the scripture. Yeah. I'm going to find out whether you really believe me before the night's over. Because he's going to reward some things in here tonight. Why? Because he is a rewarder. Yes, he is. For those who seek him, yes. who diligently oh, seek him. God help us too. Hello. Amen. Amen. Watch this. We read to you. For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is. That he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. seek him. Yes. Well, I seeked him today. Yeah. Praise Amen. God. Hope you seeked him. Yes, sir. Hope you went after him for what you needed today. And if you did, then you have to step into a different realm. Amen. See, the problem is a lot of people seek him. A lot of people go to church, sit on pews. A lot of people amen. A lot of people tell you they know it. A lot of people read the Bible, but they don't really know the knowledge of who he is. That's it. That's right. Lord, help us. Because when you get to the place that you know who he is, then you'll know who he is. He will reward you with everything that he is. Oh, my, my. Yes, he can preach to somebody. Thank you, Jesus. I know I'm in a house full of believers tonight. I know I'm Thank in a house full of people that knows the word. But I got news for you. You can know the word and still never receive what you wanted from the word. Amen. 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 I meet people all the time since in church service after church service. I preach to people all the time. But they never, ever leave with what they wanted when they came. Amen. Amen. So I wanted to ask the Lord why. Because that's the way I am. I, I started wanting to know why people come up and then they go out and they never get it. So there has to be something in us even though we're saying we believe and we have faith. There has to be something that's stopping us and the knowledge of God will stop you. Jesus. If you don't have the knowledge and you can't believe it. 
And you can say it all you want to, but if it ain't real knowledge, then it's really just words. That's right. I've had lots of people tell me words, but their actions tell me something totally different. See, your actions has to line up with your faith. Faith is an action. Amen. Right. Amen. Faith is an action. It is. Faith is this. Faith is believing for what you need and knowing that God's a rewarder than reaching out and bringing what you need out of the realm of the spirit Hallelujah. into the natural realm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And see, that's what we're going to do tonight. Thank you, Jesus. So when you know tonight, you came in here tonight. I know there's people in this room. You came in here wanting God to do something. But the problem is you came in plenty of services before wanting him to do it. Mm -hmm. You came in meeting after meeting wanting him to do it. But what if we just decide tonight we're not going to keep going in meeting after meeting and meeting. See, people want to talk about what God can do, but I want to talk about what God is doing. Amen. See, a lot of people want to talk about what he did do, but I want to talk about what he is doing. Amen. See, we want to talk about what's coming, and we love to talk about what's happened. But I'm telling you, God is a God of now. He's a God of, he's the same yesterday, today, today, and forever. And there's nothing wrong about talking about what's coming. There's nothing wrong with talking about what happened. But listen to me. When you leave out the middle one today, then you're missing the whole thing that God has for you. Yeah, for yeah. such a time as this, we've been yeah. created. Yeah. For such yeah. a time as this, God has put us on the earth. For such a time as this, God has created some people to do some things for the kingdom. But they're going to have to move past words into a place of knowledge that knowing who he is, that he's not just who he is, but he is who he will do. Yes, he will. Amen. Yes, he He's did. a rewarder of those who... I, I'm so tired of... Ain't you tired of just seeking something that never... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, well, I pray all the time, I said, well, then why don't you get an answer? <laughs> See, there has to be something that's stopping it. It's not God. No. God don't withhold any good gift from his people. No, he right. does Amen. not. I love somebody. Amen. See, I think sometimes we got this mindset... Have you met people? I, I gotta wait sixty days before God's gonna heal me. Yeah. What in the world? <laughs> well, God told me He'd do it next year. <laughs> so we gotta wait till next year to get what God wants for us. No. Come on now, this is be honest. Some of us are this. Right well, God said, you know, He might do it later on. We use it for a copy out of church because we're so without power in church. We'll tell people, well, as you go. And he does that. He does. He does it with the yeah, he does. But he also does it now. Yeah, he does. Amen. He does. He is Jehovah Sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Sneak right up and he'll, he'll reward you right there. And you don't even know what happened. Hallelujah. Oh, you, you once was lost, but now you're found. <laughs> Hallelujah. So many people will tell you all the right words, but they can't never get to the place of knowing who he is. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. You came in tonight sick? He's a healer. Yes, he is. It's not a maybe he'll heal. No. It's not if he wants to heal. He, uh, he already paid the price for you. He All did. Right. Now, I've never seen anybody pay a price for something that decided they don't want to do. Amen. Don't make a lot of sense to me. I have people tell me all the time, well, healing's not for today. Well, then he just paid a price for part of it. Uh -huh. I, no. He paid so he just price. paid a price for a certain group of people. No. 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 I have people tell me all the time, because I did all this, God won't do this. No. No. While you was yet sinners, I died for you. Yes, he did. He did, he did. So 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 the problem is we're putting all these excuses on God on why he can't. But he can. Which tells me we really don't know that he can. Oh, Which my. tells me we've been transformed by religion into believing that we, we're serving this weak and demon God that only shows up every once in a while. It's true. It is amazing that we get one person out of a wheelchair, we'll take pictures, do videos, and everybody will see it, but we don't see the other 50 that did. Yeah. That's true. Jesus would go into cities, and the Bible says that everybody in the city got healed. That's right. That's right. Jesus would go into meetings, and everybody in the meeting got healed. Jesus said, get out of a boat and, and 2, 000, 6, 000 demons, 2, 000, 2, over 2,000 demons, it was really 6,000. Yeah. Uh, demons recognizes he's there. Yes, yes. When's the last time you went to Walmart and the devil recognized you was there? When's the last time you went to your family meetings? 
put all the unbelievers in your family on. And they recognize he was there. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, when you step into a realm of belief and faith, of understanding of who he is, then you understand that he's always wanting to move. Amen. It's not a Sunday morning thing. It's not a Sunday night. It's not just a Wednesday. No. It's not every once in a while we go to church. No, it's not. Seven days a week, 24 hours yes. a day. Yes, yes. He, he is. He is. He oh, is yeah. whatever the need is standing yes. in front of you. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Whatever the need is, it's facing you. That's why Mark chapter 11 says you can, if you'll believe and speak to the mountain, not wavering in unbelief. That's right. Then it's got to go. That's right. He, he didn't say somehow. No. Then why do we? Amen. Amen. So why is it when things look like it's very difficult that our faith that we say we have starts to waver? Why is it when we see someone has lots of needs that we do the pray for somebody that don't? You're right. You're right. He said, if you know him, Amen and ouch. that he is. Yes, Lord Jesus. He is a rewarder. I'm so glad that I served this God tonight yes. that rewards everyone. Amen. That will come. Everyone who comes, he'll reward. Yes. I mean, we go on the streets and people don't even know Jesus and he rewards them. He does. Yeah. Why? Because it ain't about their faith, it's about us. Yeah. yeah. Right. You're right. I don't need them to believe. It's so already know. Hallelujah. We go on the streets and see people healed and don't even know nothing about Jesus and never been to church. That happens. Why? Because it's not about what they believe. It's about what I and my wife believe. That's right. In our church. Yes. When you are operating under what you really, when you really operate under what he really is, things totally change. Yes. We, the church has to move past word knowledge. Amen. We have great speakers. Yeah. People can really talk good, but very little power. It's true. It amazes me that they all thought Jesus was a great teacher, but not only was he a great teacher, <laughs> he had great power. He yeah. sure did. It's amazing to me that everywhere he went, not just the teaching showed up, but the power showed That's up. That's right. Amen. I found out that if you take Jesus with you, it's almost impossible to go somewhere without him showing up. That's right. Right. You know, sometimes he shows up and I didn't even really invite him to show up because you know, I didn't really ask him. Because it's not about me. No. He'll just show up because he wants to. Yeah. I mean, sometimes there'll be people just walk up and start weeping. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Why is that? It's not because of us. No, it's, because it's because of him. That's right. It's because when you recognize how powerful... He really is. Yes. Then you'll start moving all the limitations off of him. Hallelujah. And you'll quit going through a routine. Can I tell you something? The church is in a cycle. Yes, they are. And I'm a cycle breaker. Praise God. I don't like cycles. I really don't like routine either. When everything starts getting cookie cutter all the time for me, I'm, I get uncomfortable. Yeah. Why? Because I know Jesus don't always do everything just like No, he that. doesn't. Exactly. Uh -uh. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I also know when we start going through routines and services over and over and over and nobody's getting nothing, something's missing. Amen. Amen. So if I went around tonight, I'm sure if I came and talked to y'all before service, all you would have said, I got faith. And I believe in God. So I would ask, then, then the next thing you would probably say, well, Pastor, can you pray for my finances? <laughs> pa Pastor, I've been struggling with this sickness all week. Uh, Pastor, can you, can you pray? You see, and immediately in my mind is you just told me you had faith. You have faith in what you've read. But you haven't moved into the place that you have faith to believe for Jesus, Jesus, now. Jesus, yeah. Jesus, and you. Jesus. See, this, do you know there's a lot of people that believe that God did? Amen. But there's lots of people that believe that God did stuff back years ago. Uh huh. Yeah. But it's when you move from back there to now that really messes with me. Yeah, yeah. And you know, most of the people I meet, they believe that God did all these miracles, especially for Christians that are in church. But when I start talking to them about God doing it now, 
They start getting weird. Yeah, they don't believe it. It starts messing with people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, it messes with people when I when I start talking to crowds and I start telling them, you know, God can just bless your finances just like that. Oh, well, he sure Amen. can. Yes. You know, some of you come in at night and you're all struggling in your finances. But you know, before you got home tonight, God could open up a window of heaven and, door, well, he and can. the door could bring yes. in all kinds of finances. And yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Now some of y'all think, well, he's going to drop hundred dollar bills at night. It might be a job. That's right. Yes. It's very well. It might be a promotion. Yeah. Amen. Right. See, that's the problem with church. We want to sit in the recliner and drop thousand dollars. Yeah. And God said, How about I just give you a job that takes you to another level and finances and ability to do what you need to do? Yeah. He's a good father. Yeah. Come on, Hallelujah. See, God's really wanting to take the church to another level of belief. Mm-hmm. Yes, Amen. he is. So how do you have listen? Watch this. You remember the guy that came to Jesus and he had the son that was having a demon possession problem? He said, have faith and he'll get it. And he said, Father Jesus, I believe, but help, help my, my unbelief. unbelief. Well, how can he believe and have unbelief? Okay. Well, he did. And we do. Yeah, we do. Church. Yeah, we do. You're right. It's right in the church. I said We believe to a certain extent. Yeah. We believe to a certain place. Yeah. Yeah. We believe, listen, it's always, you know, I can go pray for my wife, man, it's easy. But I can get a headache, that's all. You know why? Because I ain't the one feeling the pain when I'm praying for her. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. That's the truth. I'm helping you tonight. Amen. See, it's easy to believe for everybody else because you ain't walking through it. Amen. It's when you get to the place that you can believe for yourself and Amen. walk through it yourself. Yes. And you really get to the place of belief. Amen. That's good. Amen. That's right. See, my wife can tell you a story and she may, I mean, let her, but she has a problem through years her whole life. No problem. She never, never bothered enough to worry about it. Some of you in here today, y'all got things in your life that's been there for years, but it doesn't bother you to the point of stopping you, so you just tolerate it. Yeah. That's it. My yeah. Wife You're telling it. the truth. She had a little problem with her ear. Wasn't painful enough to stop her, but it was always an aggravation. God really hates aggravation. Yes, he does. It's a lot of aggravations in the church. Religion's one of them. They don't like it when you get all excited. They don't like it when you get drunk. Yeah. Can't stand it. <laughs> I do. She had that little problem. A little here a while back, she got tired of the problem. And she recognized she had been tolerating something for years that wasn't even hers. Hallelujah. So one night we went to bed, she decided, I knew nothing about it. She just decided, you know what? I'm done with that. Praise God. It was something that was it's like a generation of in her family. Some of her other family had problems with it. It was just a little heart murmur. It's a little heart murmur. Yeah. A little fluid get on there every once in a while. Nothing major. They put her in the hospital. She didn't have to go to the doctor for it. It was just an aggravation. And she tolerated it. Thank you. But then a few weeks ago, one night, she went to bed and she, her faith had changed. Praise God. Because we preach faith. Mm-hmm. We believe faith. Mm-hmm. And she laid in the bed. And I was asleep. And she, she was praying. I said, what's what we did? She said, I fell asleep. She kept praying. The next day, she jumps up. And first thing she hey, God healed me. Hallelujah. Said, Hallelujah. See, I thought she, she, she got healed from 75 pills. Cancer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seizures. Jesus. Hallelujah. Sinus problems. Hallelujah. Breathing machines. Oh, asthma Jesus. machines. Heart problems. My, my, so my. I thought she saw all that. But she's not been healed. All kinds of stuff. I thought, that's cool. I was thinking about my, I know that. She's not. God healed me. I said, okay. <laughs> I'm not still at dawn of me yet. Because <clears throat> I really didn't know she had the problem. Because, see, she had tolerated to the point that she didn't really talk about it. Some of you in here tonight tolerate things that you don't talk about. Mm-hmm. But she did she get up and say, she said, no, you know that ear thing, every once in a while I would say something about having food or something. I said, oh, yeah, I remember you saying something about you got water in your ear or something. She said, no, I've been doing that for years. She said, I was done with it. 
Praise and she God. Said, Last night I prayed and went just like that. Hallelujah. Thank she said, Ain't been Jesus. Back so now we're down in Russia. Do you know God healed him? <laughs> <laughs> said, yes, I know he's healed you many times. <laughs> well, I said, He's a good daddy. Yes, he is. I said, He does great things. Yes, he does. She says, you know, but he, you know, he healed me from my ear that I tolerated for years. Praise God. See, some of you have been years trying to get something, and you think because it's been so long, having to preach to somebody, yeah. it's been so long that you've just decided to forget about it. Yep. Lots of things. So she's been Actually. telling everybody every time we go somewhere, oh, uh, you know, God healed me. Praise God. I said, that's cool. We're all the comments by the blood of the Lamb. We are. That testimony. We know the word. But so, so many times we know the word so good that we forget how to really believe. It's true. You can quote scriptures, but if you don't really believe it, it's useless. That's true. It's just words. That's right. Yeah. I know people who quote all kinds of scriptures, but in their heart, they didn't really believe nothing's going to happen. Mm -mm -mm. The word doesn't lie. Sometimes we do things, and because it doesn't happen the first time, we just decided, you know, it's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. I want more, and some of us sometimes think because we've done, spent everything, all this energy. You remember the one with the 12 years of issue of blood? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had to spend everything. She, she had to get desperate. She you know, I, sometimes it's not a bad thing when we get desperate. Amen. Desperation sometimes will move us to a place that we'll actually start believing. Amen. 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 That's good. Sometimes being desperate will move you out of yourself. That's right. Amen. That's right. And some of us have to try everything we can. Yeah. Come on now. Let's be honest. Yes. Sometimes I want to do everything I can before I ever ask God. True. Even True. in ministry sometimes it's real easy. Do yeah. everything you can yeah. and you ask God because it ain't working. Right. <laughs> and you can't figure out why is this not working because yeah. you're doing it. Then you think about the man for 38 years laying on a pulpit fence. Mm -hmm. I think about that man I think 38 years. Some of y'all been here. There's some things in here that I know because this word, I know the Lord. Praise God. 38 years he lay there. And then Jesus, listen, you can go read it. Jesus asked him, says, do you want to be healed? Mm -hmm. Now that, that, that blows me away. But it reminds me of the church. It's true. You know, I've asked people if they want to be healed before and they tell me no. Well, yeah, it's true. True, right. true. My yeah. wife announced it. Bunches of them, not just one. Oh, I'm sure. You want know I mean? to be? I know. I got to check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say, bless you. I bless. I go on. I ain't saying. Forget it. That's true. Some people doesn't want to be well because it would mess up the way they've got their lifestyle. That's yeah. right. true. But oh, God, so much sad. more than that. And the sad thing about it is, oh, they think Jesus. the lifestyle that they've created is more greater than the one He can. Oh no, 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 no. no. Isn't that amazing how the church yeah. is a lot like that? Yeah, it is. We got a three songs poem and film, yep. and we, we created it so good that we think it would be better than what God can find. Do. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. That's not the way And the man lay for 38 years waiting on the water. We know the story. The angel came down, chose the water, and he'd get healed. That's a lot like church. Yes, it is. We sit and wait for the next service. Mm -hmm. I hope it's a good one. Maybe he'll come tonight. <laughs> well, that's a good speaker. Maybe he'll not show up. I'll is. jump in if he does, and I'll get healed. He is healed. 38 years. And then Jesus is asking if he wants to get healed, and he, tells him, he don't even tell him he wants to get healed. No. No, he, says, he starts telling him all the excuses why he didn't get healed. <laughs> Isn't that a lot like church? Yeah, it is. We leave, we leave a meeting, and then we start making all the excuses why we didn't. True, true. Then you hear a little jealousy in the guy because he starts talking about all the people got in front of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've had people in church get jealous because somebody else got some. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, if you get as desperate as they was, you would have got it too. Amen, amen. And I've always wondered about the pull of the desert, why they all didn't lock arms and grab each other. The ones that didn't have legs, the ones that didn't have feet, just to all make what a line and step into one line. So I like the church too. Amen. I always wondered why we leave meeting after meeting disappointed. 
So I've not been disappointed. Well, then why are you still in war? Why do we leave service and say, oh, that was a good one, mm -hmm. and then go home and put up with the very thing that we was trying to get rid of? Was it really good? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, yeah. Jesus. Help our unbelief. Well, why, why do we go through the motions of meeting after meeting and never get the reward? Because really, this is a form of seeking Him. It is. We came together tonight. Yeah. Started outside. People came in. We're seeking the Lord. And I read where he says if we seek him, he'll reward us. That's right. And I love it because expectations of breeding ground miracles. A lot of the reason expectations of breeding ground is because you have to expect God to do it before you're going to ever get it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And there's a lot of people who come to get prayer, but they don't come to get the breakthrough. I pray for people all the time that loves me to pray because they're like they're like a drug addict. They like the fix. Yeah. You're they like to feel it. They tell like the, the prayer. Yeah. But see, if we would change from coming to get prayer to come to receive it, mm -hmm. yeah. oh, the church would change so much. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with prayer. I like to pray for people. But I wish when they come, they wouldn't just be coming to get the prayer. I wish they'd be coming to get the reward. Amen. Then I think about the blind Bartimaeus on the side of the road. And everybody's trying to get him to shut up, and the man's <laughs> blind. Yep. You would think they'd want him to scream. Yeah. Well, I like the church, huh? Somebody's got a need, and everybody's wanting to be quiet. Not true. Those who have been forgiven much love much. That's right. When you've been forgiven much of God, you don't really care. You don't really give a rip while anybody thinks. I'll just be honest with you. Amen. I know personally. I don't really care who likes my dance. I don't really care if they like how I worship. Who Praise worship? God. Why? Because he's my king. Yes, he yeah. is. And when you get to that place, like Blind Bartimaeus Scott, you see, it's what happened. It says he heard. Do yep. you know there's different ways of hearing? There's people in the night you're going to hear, but you'll never receive. Because you can be, you got to be more than just a hearer. The word you have to be a thought so. So you can hear sermon after sermon. There's people that's heard thousands of sermons but still has no change. Mm -hmm. There's people that's heard hundreds of sermons and go right back to the same old lifestyle. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. They heard, but they never received. That's right. Blind Bartimaeus, he heard, but he decided, you know what, I'm not just going to hear. I'm going to get the attention of heaven, which is Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He starts crying out. We know the story. Son of David, have mercy on me. And then everybody's trying to get him to shut up. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. Yeah. You might mess up the program. Yeah. You might get too loud and mm -hmm. scare somebody off and don't like it. Yep. But he just skip on. <laughs> and then Jesus shows up. He gets it. And he does. Isn't it amazing when you seek him, you find him. Mm -hmm. That's right. Dillingly. Isn't it amazing when Bob Bartimaeus got diligently seeking him with his voice? Son David! Have mercy. I'll leave That the reward came. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah, think about it. The little guy, that, the, the man who was blind, he was a little, he was an older guy. The story tells the disciples come to walk by, and the guy's sitting beside the road blind, and they asked him whose fault it is. We're good at finding faults. Yep, yep. We always want to know what the problem was. Mm -hmm. I like to find out what the, what the solution is, mm -hmm. rather than the problem. Amen. It don't bother me knowing what the problem is, but when I find the problem, I'm always looking for the solution. And he has, he has, he's blind, and they're trying to figure out why he's blind. And I love what Jesus said. He said, so the glory of God can be shown. I wonder how many times a day we're missing the glory of God. Amen. Because oh. always sees the problem. Yeah. I wonder how many times that we can see the breakthrough for people 
if we could just believe that he is. Oh. Yeah. This is really cool revelation when you get it. <clears throat> Let me help you with it. I know you know, but I want to help you anyway. Do you know that he is bigger than anything you can walk in here with tonight? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, he is. Yes. Do, do you know that he is bigger than anything you'll ever meet on someone else? Amen. Did you know when you get to the place that you know that he is bigger than any problem that ever hits Amen. us on the face of the earth, he doesn't have an answer for it? Amen. Well, that really kills worry. Yeah. Yeah. See, some of y'all worry. See, you, you don't have to worry when you know that he is. Amen. See, worry is a choice. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But when you recognize that he is, I, I like it like this. You, I could give everybody in here a piece of paper, and you could put down all the things that you need in your life, and then on the other side of it, you could put he is. And he is. Hallelujah. He is. I just seek in. I yeah. know we know. I know the church knows. But I want you to recognize he really is. He is. No matter what you walked in these doors with tonight, he is the answer. Yes, he is. And it's not a maybe. It's not he could. Mm -mm. It's not if he wants to. He does. Mm -hmm. He done did. Yes, he did. This is the cool thing about what we're reading. Everything that you can write on that piece of paper, he done paid a price for it. This is a cool thing will help you when you meet people, too. Every time you meet someone that has a problem, and, you know, we like looking at problems. We're good at finding fault finding. But it's easy to see problems in other people. We don't hardly ever see our own. Yeah, right. But it's this crazy thing. If you'll start seeing people, and immediately when you see them, think, oh, Jesus, don't pay the price for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It'll really help you get them out of that. Praise God. Because it's hard to get someone out of something that the whole time you're looking at them, you think, that's a big mess. But if you know that he is. He is. He is. He is the one that he takes is. the mess and makes the message. Yes, he is. He is the one that takes he ashes is. and makes it beautiful. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hmm. Hallelujah. He is. He is. Tonight. Thank you, Not Next Lord. week. The next year. He's not coming. It's here. Yes. We're not waiting for him. It's still right. Amen. Over 2,000 years ago, it arrived. Yes, he did. It amazes me. I meet people all the time that's waiting on something that happened 2,000 years ago. Did you know that? And that revelation tonight can change your lives. Yes, it can. And I know we study, and I know we know these kind of things. And maybe I'm talking to somebody online. I don't know. But if we get the meat of this message tonight, I'm going to pray for people in a few minutes. You can just receive it. Amen. So what I want you to do right now as I'm closing, I want you to go ahead and start preparing your hearts yes. and get all that stuff out of you Jesus. about can't. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Or why he won't. Because mm. the man laid for 38 years, so it ain't been too long. Right. The woman doesn't spend all she had. Twelve years. So it doesn't matter if you got any money. Try. And everybody doesn't got in front of them, and it doesn't matter if everybody doesn't got in front of you. You're right. just still here. Amen. 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 That is the truth. So what'd you come for tonight? And even more than that. Why don't you come to see him? Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Because see, sometimes we just come to get entertained. Oh. But God's so tired of the church entertaining, he wants us to introduce. Yes, yes. Can I tell you, you can be introduced to the king tonight? Oh, Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Can I tell you online tonight, you can be saved. Amen. You can be healed, you can be delivered, you can get what you need. Yes. 
All you have to do is accept them in your heart and right. ask them to invite them to come. Yes. It's as simple as receiving him into That's your life and asking him to forgive your right. sins. Yes. And you're as saved as any of us. Yeah, amen. 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 That moment. Yeah. That's right. It's not process. No. Because the Spirit of God's in here right now drawing. Yes, he is. There's going to be people get healed through Facebook. Amen. Why? Because all they have to do is receive. That's right. And all they have to do is believe that He is. He is. He Space is. is not a problem for God. No. It's just another thing. When you recognize that it's not about where God is right this moment. See, people all the time tell me this thing, too. They say, I wish I could live when Jesus did. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, I could live right now because I got the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I got salvation. Yeah. And went to the cross here. No. I got salvation. I got all the gifts that came with yes, salvation. Yes, absolutely. The cross. Yes. I also have the Holy Spirit, which is the, Jesus said was going to be better than Him. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I also have that scripture. He says, "Greater things that I would do also than Him." That's what He said. Amen. Isn't that not what He said? That's what well, I think. I'm going to be now. Amen. But we meet all kinds of people. Amen. And they think because. We can't see him right here in the natural. Mm -hmm. He can't do what he did then. It's because we're so natural minded. Mm -hmm. That's why Paul said, don't walk in the natural, but in the, in the flesh, Super. but in the spirit. Because yeah. you've got to get out of that fleshly thing to get over in that reward thing. Amen. Hallelujah. See, see, when you come up, you had to get out of that fleshly thing and step over into that spiritual thing knowing that he's done done it. Jesus. Before anything else happens, he's done done. It, you just, I mean, I see people get healed on the way to the altar. Amen. The sad thing about it, some of them lose it before they get home. Because mm -hmm. they didn't even recognize it happened. Amen. Amen. We see people get healed in three days and it's gone because they don't know how to keep it. Because you can't keep it if you don't get the word in you. No. That's right. For lack of knowledge. That's right. That's right. For lack of knowledge. Amen. I really feel like God's trying to take the church to a deeper place of Him. Yes. Oh. Yes. Than we've ever been before. Yeah. Yes. I mean, so so much deeper. <clears throat> There's this cool thing. He said, I want you to be one with me as I'm one with the Father. Amen. That's what He said. There's this, this awesome thing when you start to get the mind. Oh, Jesus, so Jesus, 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 Jesus. It's a remarkable thing when your mind starts taking on his. Yes, Because oh, then you don't see the impossible anymore. Oh, yeah. You start seeing possible. You start, you start seeing people like they should be instead of where they're at. See, Jesus never sees us in the mess. He always sees us where he wants us. Yes, he does. See, Jesus is not looking down the night seeing you sick. He sees you healed. Yes, he does. Because Jesus sees you as he has paid a price for you. Yes, you know? hallelujah. So, so tonight, if you want prayer, I'm going to believe with you. Because any two people touch any one thing, they shall have it. James 5, 14, 15 yeah. says, put mold them with oil. And they will get it. That's what and he'll he forgive said. their sins and heal their bodies. That's what he said. And I'm telling you, you can leave this place tonight and you just start telling the devil. James 5, 14, 15 says, I got it. Mm -hmm. And as you walk out these doors tonight, you can walk out these doors with your reward. Amen. You don't have to walk out with another service and say, well, I wish God had moved tonight. <laughs> I wish God had touched me tonight. No, you can just get it. Yeah. See, so we need to move past wishing and just move into the fact that it's here. You know, people come to church not wishing that he's going to show up. He shows up everywhere we go. He does. The problem is we don't know him. Right. Some of us wouldn't recognize his presence of it. Amen. I'm just being serious. You no, know, it's true. I'm being honest. I've been in churches that wouldn't know that if he came in. Amen. I'm not being mean tonight. I'm trying no. not to be mean. It's not a combination message. No. It's just the heart of God. Yeah. He still wants to move. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Amen. I'm just telling you what he wants to do for you. And it's not far off. Man, it's a sad thing for me to think that people live their life with something that's far off, untouchable, unguilty. 
You know, a lot of Christians live like this. Always mm -hmm. trying. Always trying. When God's saying, it's already done. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 I just pray over everybody online tonight, God. Yes, yes. That you touch the bodies and kill them. Set the captives free. For every person who's lost, God. I pray for the revelation and knowledge of God. I pray, Lord, that you save them tonight, Lord. Let them come to the knowledge that they're sinners. You're saved by grace. Yes, Jesus. I pray for them right now, God. Yes, I pray for Jesus. everybody that's sick, yes, that God. instantly their bodies is healed thank right you, now. Thank if you're you, online, just touch the screen and receive. Just touch the screen and receive. I thank you right now that people get out of wheelchairs, people in hospital rooms. I pray, Lord, we bind every spirit of sickness and we loose the Holy Ghost that go through that place right now, God, in the spirit realm. We thank you for the power of God that raises the dead. I thank you for the power of God that heals body and quickens them quickly. I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're in this place tonight, you need a breakthrough. You need a miracle. You need something to happen. You need something to go. Maybe it's something you tolerate. Maybe it's something that's been there for years. Maybe it's something I've spoke or said tonight. If I'm speaking to you, I want to pray for you. Yes, God. As you come, I want you to come expecting. Not because of me. It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with the one who is the rewarder. He wants to reward. So I want to pray for you tonight. Hallelujah.